what is going on YouTube this is Arctic Fox welcome back to the channel have a heartbreaking update in the missing persons case of Ashley Bush the 33 year old young lady who was 31 weeks pregnant and went missing on October the 31st out of Maysville Arkansas out in Benton County unfortunately both her and her unborn child have been located deceased uh, I want to, expand, uh, to extend my heartfelt sympathy to both her fiancé, her children, and of course her entire family as they deal with this heartbreaking moment. Uh, I can't even begin to imagine what they're going through at this time. I, I do have a bit of the press conference that I would like to play for you all uh, that gives the entire update. Uh, so bear with me and I will do my do diligence to try to get that up and running for you guys. This is absolutely devastating and certainly not the news that, that we wanted. Thank you for uh, coming today. Um, with sad news, uh, we'll report something. Uh, over my career, this is one of the most horrific uh, uh, cases that I have been personally involved with. Uh, this is still an active case. I'll put that uh, out first, uh, that we will be limited to what um, details that we can give, because uh, this is a fluid working case at this moment. Um, Sheriff's Office on October 31st started working a case uh, of a missing person, uh, Ashley Bush. Um, some sad news, the report that we have found Ashley Bush, um, uh, who was murdered, in our opinion. Uh, we also have found her baby, uh, Valkyrie Grace Willis, uh, who's deceased as well, uh, was found in a separate location. I uh, won't be able to get into details of that. We do have two people in custody. Uh, this has been a joint uh, case that we've been working with the FBI, Big County Sheriff's Office, and uh, McDonald County, <clears throat> Missouri Sheriff's Office. Uh, the two people they have in custody right now are Amber Waterman uh, and Jamie Waterman of Jane, Missouri, who are currently being held on kidnapping first degree charges. Uh, we expect uh, further additional charges to come, and I'll let uh, Nathan Smith uh, speak uh, on where we're going with all that. Uh, well, obviously, we're all, we're uh, our hearts and prayers go out to uh, Ashley's family, and it's a terrible thing. Uh, we have been in touch with uh, multiple jurisdictions. It's clear in this case that there are, there are multiple venues, if you will, that would have jurisdiction for the prosecution of this case. Uh, I've spoken to uh, our U.S. attorney and am going to have conversations going forward with uh, our federal partners to determine uh, which venue is is proper to proceed. Uh, the investigation still is ongoing. There are some things that, that we don't know now, and then there are some things that we can't say at the moment since it's ongoing. Uh, but at this point, uh, both of these individuals are in custody. Uh, I believe their federal charges relate to kidnapping uh, that led to murder. Um, and so there will be certainly overlapping charges as this case goes forward. Um, and so that's kind of where that is. So at this point, if, if you guys have questions, we'll be happy to answer them. What's the relationship of Amber and Jamie? So at, at this point, uh, what what we believe is that are they a husband and wife? Yes. Yeah, they're husband and wife. And do we believe that Amy was the woman that was called Lucy? Yes, we, we believe that um, Lucy was a fictitious name, a, an invented persona, and that Amber was uh, the real person. What was the name of the baby again? The baby's name was Valkyrie Grace Willis. Valkyrie Grace Willis? That's yes, right. Can you go into more detail about where they were found? How far from that um, handy shop in Maysville? Um, well, at this point, um, the, the bodies were recovered in the state of Missouri. Um, and so I won't go any, any further than that, but um, they were recovered in Missouri. We have heard rumors that the Watermans were trying to adopt or struggling to have a child. Is that something that you guys can confirm? I, do, I don't know that. I, I do not know that at this point. I guess talk about, I know you guys posted like they met online, so I want to talk mm -hmm. about the nature of how these two met and the relationship of Ashley and the Waterman. Well, I think that's going to be an ongoing issue. Um, I've certainly, uh, you know, heard things reported on that. And, you know, facts are still developing at this point. Interviews are still being done. 
so I, I can't say more beyond that. Then they they did meet online. I believe that that's already been reported um, that uh, that they did meet that way. And so that's all I know at this point. What time and date were the bodies found? Um, I don't have exact times. Uh, they were. Uh, <clears throat> I'd be. I can't give you that information right now to be exact on it. Um, I believe two separate days they were found. Uh, one yesterday, and one today, and I can't really get into details on that. This Can you point. say was actually found today, and the baby found yesterday. Can you tell us the baby were found that day? A baby was found yesterday, and Miss Bush was found uh, today. How close were they to each other? Uh, I, I think I don't think we want to get into that. I think there's that's going to be a an, an investigative detail that's going to become important later. Can you say whether the, the cut the baby go out or? Uh, we don't want to get into that at this point uh, for investigative reasons. It's still ongoing, um, and so facts have to be developed. Uh, but but clearly the baby was not found with the mother. Do you know what was used to kill both Ashley and Ashley? Um, at this point, um, what I can say for. Uh, the mother, as we, we believe at this point, investigation leads us to believe that it was a gunshot wound. Yes. Um, and so I think beyond that, that's, you know, all we can say now. There's autopsies that will be conducted and there'll be official reports on that at some point. Uh, but like the prosecutor said, we believe the uh, manner of death uh, certainly is probably going to be gun related. Do you think that um, each of these suspects should be charged with two counts of murder? Yeah, well, in Arkansas, if you kill a uh, pregnant woman, then you can be charged with two counts of murder. So certainly in the state of Arkansas, uh, I would charge them with uh, two counts of homicide. Now, that's all going to have to be worked out jurisdictionally. Uh, what uh, and it could be that the fact could be that multiple different jurisdictions uh, can bring charges in this case. So if the facts develop as uh, in a way that justifies bringing charges here in Benton County, we would charge uh, in that fact pattern for two murders because you can in the state of Arkansas do that. Was there any evidence? Can you all say that there was an effort to keep the baby alive? Uh, I, I don't know that. I don't. I don't know those details. So why is Jamie being charged? I know Amber is the one that sure. Beyonce has talked about. Why is Jamie being charged? Uh, well, at this point, uh, law enforcement have reason to believe that both of them were involved uh, in this crime. Uh, and obviously, as the facts play out and the investigation continues, uh, we'll know the extent uh, of that involvement for both of them. Uh, but evidence is at this point that there was reason to hold both of them for, for charges. When will they be in court? Um, I'm not sure in, the, in federal court in Missouri when, when they will appear, um, but I'm sure that will be relatively soon. They'll have to make a bond decision soon. So they're in the county for government jail? Yes. Do you know if they died in Arkansas or Missouri? Um, we're, we're still determining that. I think the investigation will, will uh, lead us there. That's obviously going to be a very important detail in how the case gets charged. At this point, we know uh, that the bodies were found in the state of Missouri. Uh, the investigation will help us know exactly uh, where the deaths occurred. When do you get the jurisdiction issue? When do you expect that to be worked out? Well, I know that in, in conversations I've had today, I expect to have phone calls uh, and, and visit with uh, federal prosecutors in both Arkansas and Missouri in the next several days. And so that may not be a decision we make in you know a week, uh, but we're certainly going to begin working on it immediately to determine which is the best venue to go forward first. Do you know if they ever made it to Benville? Because the whole thing was a job interview in Benville. Did they actually ever make it there? Uh, I don't know that. Are there any other people of interest in uh, no, we believe that we have everyone uh, in custody involved with this, that there's no danger to the public at this uh, uh, time and point. Um, uh, on your other question, we don't believe she went to Bentonville, but uh, with, like I said before, it's an ongoing investigation. There's a lot of things we have to follow up uh, between here and in Missouri. Uh, so it will be a working case for a little while, and there's lots of things we need to get answered first. So where did you arrest Amber and Jamie? No, it's in the state of Missouri. Any motive at this point? Has the family been notified? Uh, the, fan, the, the Ashley's family has been notified. Um, as far as motive, we're just going to have to let that play out with the facts. It's, it's too early to say. No, I don't believe so. Sheriff, you called this incident one of the most horrific you've ever dealt with. Have you guys ever seen an incident like this here in this county? No. I have not. No. How awful is it that you know someone would prey on someone online with needing help and, and do this? Well, 
uh, look, you, this is just a reminder that, that there is evil in the world. People do evil things. And uh, that someone would uh, prey upon a, a pregnant woman, um, you know, at her most vulnerable state is unimaginable. Uh, but, you know, unfortunately, that's the world we live in. And unfortunately, that is the world that we live in, folks. Um, that is the latest information that we have in regards to Ashley Bush. Again, I do want to have each and every one of you light a candle for Ashley, for her unborn child, for her children, for her fiancé, and for her entire family. I also want to stress that this is exactly why we do not re-victimize families when covering these cases. Everyone this morning was dragging her fiancé, Josh, in the Facebook groups there were creators dragging him on YouTube as well. This is why we don't drag families. This is why we do not re-victimize families. Because look now at what we're seeing. Josh had nothing to do with Ashley's disappearance and now murder. And it's a damn shame that all these creators, both on Facebook and on YouTube, were sitting there dragging Josh on their on their broadcasts. So guys again this is why we don't we don't re victimize the families of missing people because here it is, it turns out fiance had nothing to do with it. And I believe that what I said in my video this morning is correct. This was a prenatal kidnapping. This couple likely wanted to take Ashley's unborn child and it went terribly wrong and in the end both Ashley and the baby ended up unfortunately becoming victims and are no longer with us. So guys please keep this family in your thoughts and in your prayers. Let's stop the speculation. Let's follow what law enforcement puts out and what the actual media puts out. Uh, guys please keep everyone in your thoughts and in your prayers. I know this is not how we wanted this case to turn out. Uh, and of course, if there are any further updates, I will bring these, bring those to you. Uh, this case is very near and dear to me as this is like an, less than an hour away from where I live here in Arkansas, guys. Um, again, thank you guys for tuning in and watching. I appreciate y'all. Um, just keep this family in your thoughts and prayers and certainly be kind to one another because this is a prime example as to how you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. 